marriage is a covenant of mutuality, which a man and a woman, you enter in as free will, free moral agents, but it's also a covenant of exclusivity, which you commit yourselves to one another and no other for as long as you both shall live. When you have a child, you hope for a few things. You hope they'll grow up to be a good person. You hope they'll study hard. They'll have a good career. And then you hope they find a good life partner. All my hopes have come true. I am immensely proud of you for your many, many accomplishments and achievements. But I have to say your most amazing accomplishment to date was landing this beautiful young man to be your husband. I'm so thankful that we got John in Shafali's life. I think he'll love her more than I could ever love her. I think he'll give her more than ever I could give her. He's amazing. He's always smiling. Always. And I've never seen a frown on him. And I could not have asked for more. Love is wrong and love is right. It's a patient heart with tired eyes. Be more than me. Be always more than me. Love John more than I could even love your mother. You know, love him more because I know you have that capacity. Be better than me in any way. Be more successful. Be everything that I could not be. I could wish you everything more. Be more loving, more nurturing, more caring, more understanding, more patient. here to celebrate and witness together, Lord, the privilege of the union of these two hearts coming and joining together. give myself to you. As Christ loves the church. With protection, with provision, with leadership. And with all of my love. From this moment forward, we shall be one. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. To the joining of our lives. It represents my love. My faith. And my life. As a representative of the head of the church, the Lord Jesus Christ, and according to the laws of the state of West Virginia, in the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. John, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Acro.
I do want to wish both of you a lifetime of happiness. But even more than that, I want to wish this couple a lifetime of prayers for all the times I'm going to bug them with my indecisiveness in the future. But I love you both so much. Congratulations. And I can't wait to see where this chapter takes you guys. Jonathan, I would like to say to you also, first of all, I am so thankful to have such a close-knit family. And I always used to tell mom growing up how nice it would be to have a brother. And I'm so thankful to say that I do now. John is fun and goofy. And he makes fun of himself a lot. And he's constantly joking. And that's part of what makes him such a good friend. And it's part of what I think will make him such a good husband. John, you and Shafali are two peas in a pod. You complement one another like no two people I've ever seen. I wish you both a lifetime of cherished memories and all the happiness in the world.
I love you both. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. 